How's it going guys, it's Reed Junkie here. In today's video we have my Axion 7 from ZTE right here and we're gonna show you guys how to unlock the bootloader on this device. This is gonna be a long video, but I hope you stay tuned and watch through it and you'll fully understand how this is gonna work. Now, a uh, quick note about this. If you're on Android 7.0, then you might have issues doing this. So let's just go look. The process may change when we finally get that Android version. But currently I'm on 6. Uh, 01 so hopefully it should work fine you can also see just so you know I'm on this build number of B27 they should also work on build number B25 so either one of those should function for you all right so we've done that so let me actually get back in here we're going about phone one of the first things you need to do is turn on developer options so you come in here and you tap on your build number until it says you are now a developer you go back one screen go to developer options Click on OEM, enable OEM unlock. Make sure developer options is turned on up here. You can also turn on USB debugging mode. It's just what I would recommend while you're in there, right there. And you've done that. So the other thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna download these files to your SD card. So you're gonna need to have an SD card in over here by your SIM card for this to function correctly. You can say I have a, I have a 30 uh, gig SD card in mine, 32 gig technically. And then you're going to want to download these files. And I will link you to all of these in the video description so you'll see them all there. So right here, you have these different files. They're all zips. or steps one through five. And for this to function, you'll need all of them. All right. So actually, technically, you only need steps, I think, one through three, technically. But just to, just to get the unlock bootloader anyway. Okay, so we've got everything set up on the phone. You know what your build you're on. You know how this all functions. So we're gonna actually go ahead and power it down. And like I said, make sure they're on an SD card. These files have to be on the SD card, not internal storage. Okay, so now we're gonna boot into uh, Android Recovery. So you're gonna hold volume up, then you're gonna hold power. As soon as you see ZTE, you're gonna let go of power and keep holding volume up. And this is gonna go ahead and boot us into Android Recovery, right there. So now we're gonna scroll down. Remember your scrolling buttons are volume up and down. Those are right up here on the side. So we're going to scroll down to apply update from SD card. And you're going to hit power to select it. And then we're going to scroll to step one right there, which is B20 full OTA zip. And this is actually going to downgrade your firmware on your device, which is important for us to fully get an unlocked bootloader. So now we're going to click right here and we're going to click on power to flash that downgrade file. So it's going to go ahead and do that. So this process could take quite a bit um, for an install a system update, which is actually not an update. Like I said, it's a downgrade. We were on B27. We're going down to B20, and that's going to allow us to run the exploit we need to unlock the bootloader. So I'm going to let this run. This is probably going to take up to 10 minutes, and we'll come back to it. So as you can see here, guys, we're wrapping it up, and there you go. It is done. We've officially downgraded the device. Now... For this to function correctly, we need to now come down here and scroll down again with the volume buttons and scroll down to, oh, one, one up here. Reboot to bootloader, hit power. This is gonna reboot us right into bootloader mode. And all we're doing with this is just we're using bootloader mode as a method to um, get back into recovery. So see it says start up here on the top. So now you can see we still have a locked device. We're gonna go vol volume down to restart bootloader, nope, recovery mode, and then hit power to select that. And this is just rebooting recovery mode so that we can flash step two, which is gonna allow us to unlock the bootloader. So it's, it's kind of a, we're downgrading, and then we're going ahead and we're flashing some files, and then we can do it. So, so now we're gonna go down again to uh, apply update from SD card, hit power. This time select step two, which says unlockable bootloader zip and hit power. And this one should go a little bit faster. It's a very small file. You can see it's going across right here and it's verifying current system. And then it's gonna go ahead and flash it to the device. And it shouldn't take too long really. Um, should be a pretty quick uh, flash process for this to function and push over this file. Once it's done, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to go over to my computer and download and set up ADB and Fastboot stuff on there, and then we'll be able to send the command to unlock the bootloader. Now, warning about this process. Obviously, um, downgrading the system, 
you know, and doing any of this is, is going to wipe your device. So my device was already stock anyway. It didn't really matter to me to having it on it. But especially when we run the unlock bootloader command, that's going to go ahead and wipe out all of your user data and you're, you're going to lose everything on your phone. So make sure you have things backed up and uh, everything, pictures, anything you might have. Now, most of my stuff's also synced to Google Cloud anyway, so it's not really an issue for me. Whenever I log in my Google account, it all comes back. So um, just, just so you're aware. So it's passing system image after verifying. So I'm actually a little surprised this is even taking this long because this is a really small file. You're just updating a little partition, so really shouldn't take too much longer here. All right, guys, so now that we've basically made it possible to unlock the bootloader um, on this device by downgrading and by um, flashing this unlock bootloader zip in stock recovery here, we should be good to go. So the last thing you're going to do is you're going to use volume down to go to reboot to bootloader and hit power and reboot the device into bootloader. Now we're going to go to my computer and we're going to run the commands to unlock the bootloader on this device. So let's go do that. All right, here we go. Let's uh, go ahead and plug in our USB Type-C cable into our computer and into our device. There we go. And make sure everything gets connected up. So let's go over to my computer now that we're plugged in. All right, guys, here we go. Um, let me just show you what I've got. I'm going to give you a link to this file right here. And this is what you need to unlock the bootloader. It contains everything. I'll just show it to you when you extract it. It looks like this, all of these files, which I just... just extracted into my unlock bootloader folder so it's right there okay here's the here are the five files you're gonna put on your card here's the directions all typed up if you need those and then you have fast boot ADB files here and then lastly you have drivers if you need those as well so really this 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 contains everything you need to unlock the bootloader and even get yourself back to B29 or B27 depending on what firmware you want that's part of these other steps right here so just so you're aware okay so we've got all this going on this is beautiful we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and unlock the bootloader so to do that um, we're going to hold uh, on our computer shift right click with our mouse open command window here that opens up this command window in uh, this folder right here that we're in which we need because we need to access these adb and fastboot commands well specifically fastboot so we're going to type in a command here so we're going to type in fastboot devices and hit enter and as you can see here in my window, it actually gives me a serial number and returns says fastboot. That means the device is connected and we can run our command to unlock it. So now we're going to run that command to unlock the booter, bootloader. Fastboot OEM unlock and hit enter. And you can see it gives me uh, information down here about it on the phone. And basically it says yes to unlock bootloader void warranty and no um, to restart. So it says... Press the volume up and down button to select yes or no. So I'm going to push volume up and highlight it in blue. And then I'm going to use, press the power button to continue. So I'm going to hit power once I selected it in blue. And this should unlock my bootloader. And there you go. Bootloader should be unlocked at this point. So the device is going to reboot here. Um, we're actually done on our computer with that. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Here you can see it's erasing because it wipes the device completely clean whenever you unlock the bootloader. And it is also rebooting at this point. So reboot time after you wipe data factory set is probably going to be anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. Um, so just be prepared for that. You can unplug your, your device from the computer also at this point. And we're just really waiting for it to fully boot up. And then I can boot back into um, bootloader mode and show you we have an unlocked bootloader. So it actually bootloaded or uh, booted up really quickly here into the device. You can see you got to go through all the setup again because you erase the phone. You know, you wipe data effect to reset it. So I'm not going to even do that right now. I just want to show you that the bootloader is unlocked. In fact, unlocked. So I'm going to go ahead and shut down. And then we're going to boot back into um, recovery, actually. So volume up and power. And then as soon as you see uh, ZTE, you're just going to let go of uh, power and keep holding volume up. This is going to boot us into, into recovery, and then from there, again, we can just boot into bootloader really quickly, and that will go ahead, volume down, reboot to bootloader. That'll go ahead and get us in bootloader mode. That should be able to tell us then and see right up here, you can actually see it, device state unlocked. So that says right there, we have an unlocked bootloader. So very, very awesome. Now we can also go back into recovery if we want, recovery mode, 
and we can run some more uh, commands from there. We can actually push the other OTA updates and get this thing back on the build number we were on before. All right, so to finish this process and get the device fully back to stock here, we're actually going to flash the first file we flashed again. So we're going to go down here to apply an update from ADB. And because we did all that patching and hacking and able to unlock the bootloader, we have to flash that stock uh, B20 full OTA zip again. And that'll bring everything back to stock, but we'll maintain the unlocked bootloader. So we're going to go ahead and flash that file one more time by hitting power. So again, you know, you got another 10 minutes, so we'll come back to it when it's done. Um, and then I'm going to actually just go ahead and, and show you how I'm going to push the other updates too. And we'll just wrap it up. We'll be fully back to stock on, I think I'm just going to go to B27 because that's where this phone was at. But you could really go all the way up to B29 firmware. All right, guys, the process is basically wrapping up here. And now we're back to B20. So again, what we're going to use is we're going to use the um, reboot to bootloader option. And then we're going to reboot back into recovery to update to B27, which is as far as I'm going to take it, just because that's where my phone was at anyway. So scroll down, reboot or recovery mode, and then hit power. And you could see actually there, if you were paying attention, it did say bootloader is unlocked because it stays unlocked at this point. If you're wondering what this is, this is my daughter. She made me an iPhone. See, it's got little eyeballs on it. She thinks it's pretty funny. Um, all right, so we're going to scroll down here to right here, apply... Uh, Apply update from SD card, hit power, scroll down to step four, which is 20 to B20 to B27 zip. So we're going to hit power and we're going to go ahead and flash that uh, update zip. Um, so this, again, is just an update. I don't think it's going to take too long. And if you want to do the same thing, just keep repeating until you get all the way up to B29. I mean, that's up to you. Totally fine. Not really an issue at all. But really, B27 is as far as I'm going to take it just because that brought me back to where I was. All right, there we go. We should be wrapping up with the rest of the patching, which is just about done. So this update, like I said, brings us to B27. So build number with B27 in the end, actually, is the best way to understand that. You can see it's patching a lot of Im images there. It's really doing a little bit of patching to a little bit of everything. So, you know, that's, that's cool. That's cool. But this keeps us on official build, which is good. And like I said, this is really recommended to do this bootloader unlock method before Android Nougat comes out because when it comes out, it could be an issue and you may not be able to unlock the bootloader the same way. So now we're going to come up here. We're going to scroll down to wipe data factory reset. Hit power. Say yes. Hit power. This is going to do a quick reset. This will give us a good clean boot up um, with our unlocked bootloader and our B27. So then just hit power again to reboot system now. And there you go. That is it. You've officially stayed on the OT update path. You have stock Android on your device from ZTE. Um, you can see this is interesting. Device is unlocked. Can it be trusted? So you do have a little warning there showing you that you have an unlocked bootloader. And that's going to come up every time you boot the device at this point. But who cares? That's like the glory, man. That's like you should be proud of that little uh, warning up there because that shows that you outwitted ZTE, the manufacturer, and Android, and you still got your unlocked bootloader, so booyah. Um, this is going to take a little bit to boot up. Again, we can go through the setup. At this point, you can go ahead and an add your Android account to the device, and uh, you know, you'll be sitting pretty at that point. So, you know, set it up, put all your apps on it, everything you want. Now, if you're looking to go ahead and get root access, install Torp Recovery, um, put a custom ROM on here like uh, Sidegen Mod or maybe Lineage, which is actually something I want to do. Um, stay tuned. Those videos are coming next on the channel here. Um, we'll have some really cool coverage on that as well. I'm actually really digging this device and really happy to see all the development that is available for it. So that's going to be it, guys. Once this thing fully boots, we'll be finished. So that's going to wrap it up for me. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. Give me a big thumbs up for the video. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. I'm all over the place. All the links you're going to need for everything in this video are going to be found in the video description down below. So you can check that out as well. And there you go. She fully boots up. So just to show you guys, just for the fun of it, we're just going to skip through all this just to show you we have a fully booting and functioning phone. And uh, we'll just get back to the home screen one more time. And, and we'll be looking good. So there we go. There we go. 
Shabam. There it is. ZTE Axon 7 bootloader unlocked. Catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.